I would like to thank Dr. Uh, Nayak actually. Uh, sir, it was uh, really informative in what you highlighted in terms of um, a blue economy, specifically to fisheries in India. And uh, uh, what I would like to begin my uh, discussion uh, would be primarily based on the problems we are facing within the fish fisheries uh, fishery sector in country and uh, broadly uh, for the region as well. Uh, in highlighting why there is an urgent need of data management and how it plays an important role in supporting the fishery uh, resource monitoring assessment and management system. Uh, to complement what Dr. Naik said, in order to accomplish the overarching goal of sustainable management of fish stocks, the ambitious sectoral fishery policy must necessitate on the development of an efficient monitoring and evaluation system uh, and its management. Uh, the sectoral policy for any government, I'm talking in specific for India, is built on the three pillars of autonomy, sustainability and development. As enhanced quality and credibility of fisheries research are implicit uh, objectives, the second pillar, which is sustainability, must rely on knowledge of resources and their sustainable management. And that is why data management is of uh, utmost priority. Uh, I would like to highlight a few uh, problems which are currently being faced in the Indian fishery sector. Uh, the Indian econo exclusive economic zone has a total size of about 2.5 million kilometers square, out of which 1.5, 1.6 uh, kilometers square is of the mainland and uh, Lakshwadip, and the remainder is that of Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Now, when we talk about the data collection of the fishery stock and the stock management, the MSY computed for key stocks is higher than the monitored landings. In addition, numerous indicators and research suggest that some stocks are over or underexploited. Scientific recommendations on permissible catch should arise from a comparison of values derived from capacity evaluation, which is fish stock assessment, with those derived from resource monitoring and evaluation, which is mainly the fishing fishing mortality now however uh, the due to the expanse of india's marine region and the diversity of its habitat conducting a scientific evaluation of the stock has proven to be extremely difficult and i think dr nag would agree with me on that uh, the government of india has taken very interesting initiatives in order to assure that there is a thorough management of the stocks however um, there are certain problems. First, the fish landing data collection in fishing ports is based of voluntary, uh, based of voluntary reporting disclosure or disclosure from the marketing agents. There is no compulsory weighing of landing catch and therefore the reliability of the statistics published is not highly reliable. Second, uh, for traditional fishing vessels, catch data collection at landing locations other than fishing port is based only on approximations. Uh, on such a wild coastline, gathering complete data set, set is, of course, challenging. Despite having a low capture rate per unit, these vessels account for almost 80% of the national fleet in our country, in India. Now, as a consequence, there is considerable degree of uncertainty about the quality and reliability of the available statistics, both in terms of tonnage caught and actual fishing efforts. And then, obviously, there is one high impact of the climate change. Climate change has been affecting all sorts of life and uh, blue economy, um, marine coastline is um, uh, no different from it. Uh, uh, climate change has highly impacted um, coastal flooding, coastal erosion. And in the coming years, we might, we might be seeing there's going to be change in oceanic temperature, acidity, freshwater input, circulation. And it, leads, it might be also leading to disruption, in precipitation, temperature, and hydrology accompanying climate change. Um, these habitats, um, which are close to the uh, shore ecosystem, including coral reefs, mangroves, seagrass beds, would be adversely affected by the loss and degradation of such, uh, such vital marine ecosystem. And the last problem which is being faced for the fish stock assessment in India is uh, the fishery research fleet is relatively old. The average age of the fleet size in India is about 32 years, with vessels that are not highly versatile and uh, are not adaptable to in uh, integrate new programs. So AFD, so here comes the role of AFD, how AFD can support and uh, lead to a, lead to, uh, a 
a proper management of the fish fish stocks so uh, three interventions could be led by afd in india uh, similar interventions has been already completed by afd in other parts of the world specifically in indonesia one component could be strengthening the assessment of pelagic fish resources and their sensitivity to climate change through contribution of spatial oceanography as mr Na as dr naik already mentioned that there is already a pelagic fish assessment being done uh, by by india there could be an angle of introduction of spatial oceanography which would, uh, which would uh, allow to maintain a minimum scientific base for stock assessment campaigns in order to allow research to keep an offering uh, recommendations to benefit the operators and decision makers uh, besides that there could be also an intervention um, uh, which could be proposed um, for um, uh, application related to marine or maritime uh, sector management like um, coral reef and mangrove monitoring coastal zone management assessment of areas conducive to seaweed culture monitoring of industrial shrimp farm and inventory uh, of uh, suitable areas uh, for such farms spill detection and um, iuu fishing monitoring so for component one, we could provide assistance for uh, uh, oce spatial oceanography and uh, Another way, uh, AFT could play an important role in um, supporting the intervention for fish stock assessment is by initiating a program to renew the fisheries and uh, oceanographic research fleet. Uh, as mentioned earlier, the Indian fisheries, the oceanographic research fleet should embark on a renewal program um, and it, which will enable it to deliver the, um, deliver the services that are expected, including the assessment of um, shrimps and um, other stocks. For this purpose, it is necessary to identify the priorities of Indian marine research for next 15 years. From this analysis, the types of vessel and equipment needed to carry out the priority scientific programs will emerge. And AFT could be a potential partner to engage or to initiate um, um, uh, uh, technical cooperation amongst Indian institutions and French institutions uh, to understand what will be the requirements in, uh, in the coming decade or two. And finally, I believe uh, another inter intervention which AFD could support is uh, in terms of improvement of the data collection and monitoring evaluation system um, in a pilot phase in India's maritime state. For example, let's say Odisha, which is a coastal state um, uh, having coastline with Bay of Bengal. Uh, so such in interventions have been already uh, proven successful by AFD in other regions of the world. And um, uh, taking an idea from this and identifying the problems uh, of fish stock assessment, I guess uh, there is high possibility uh, wherein AFD could play a major role in um, developing a system for the fishery resource monitoring assessment and management system. Uh, so that is all from my side. Thank you.